Do you know that the last prayer of Jesus to the Father was that that we as the church would be one in unity? Now, there's so many layers and different commentaries on people's takes on that prayer request from Jesus before he ascended to heaven. And I want you to know um, that God and his heart is that we as the bride of Christ, the church, you and I, not a building, not a denomination, but us as Christians and believers would unite in understanding that we are a family. It doesn't matter what exact denomination we are or exact doctrinal beliefs there are. Yeah, sure, there's differences and and there's different boundaries and parameters on that. But the heart of, of God is that we would be one and in unity that together we can make more of a difference and impact all around the world that those who don't know about God and His love would actually see God's love through us and our love for each other and the love for the people in our community. We love God therein. We love our neighbor as ourselves. And for sure, we need to look at each other and say, hey, how together can we unite? And maybe we shouldn't be waiting for the older generation to come together and all the senior pastors trying to make a, an initiative of a unified front like never before. I actually believe that a unified front of our church will actually be instigated uh, through the youth, through the next generation. So youth pastor, uh, people in youth groups, please reach out to your local uh, churches and see how together you can make a bigger difference together for the community wherever you live in because we know that Jesus loves every single person in your community. And when we unite together, we know that not only does it please God's heart, but that's when God can move. Where the hand tells the foot, let's work together.